Good evening and welcome to Theoretical Tea and Company. Uh, my name is da- Dr. Janice Marie Collins and I'm here um, as your host, as one of the storytellers that you'll be hearing from this season, among others. I have some really great shows planned for you. Um, wanted to just basically introduce myself in the show and what it's about, and I'll give you more information as we go along. But basically, Theoretical Tea and Company is a podcast that I started years ago, and I'm relaunching. And um, basically, we talk about a lot of different things. A lot of some of our, some are cutting edge, some are controversial, some are wonderful and loving, whatever the case may be. The point is is that whether you're a guest um, or whether you're in the audience and you're participating, anything along those lines, I call it theoretical tea and company because everyone has a theory, correct? Everyone has a theory about something. But if you have discussions about these theories um, over tea, hot tea, usually it follows a particular decorum, which means we won't yell, we won't fuss, we won't disrespect, we'll just have a conversation. And that's why I call it Theoretical Tea and Company. Um, You are my company. You are my guest. And I look forward to welcoming you into every show uh, where we can just enjoy a conversation and learn a little bit about each other and about, you know, just different happenings and situations and um, that are actually happening in our world, your world, a world, whatever the case may be. I have some great guests planned um, for you coming up, I have, um, well, I don't even want to say everyone, but we're going to be talking about everything from Gullah Geechee to emotional well-being, uh, no matter who you are, especially when it comes to men, right? A lot of times on my shows, I like to demarginalize, meaning any, what I found from my research of 25 years Anyone and everyone can feel dismissed at some time, whether it's in your family, your job, your classroom, whatever the case may be. And so sometimes we feel dismissed. That doesn't necessarily mean that as a group you're marginalized, but sometimes that is the truth and that is reality. Um, A lot of people would, a lot of people understand the stereotypes I have found, um, but not really understanding the people in the margins, which are really important. Right. So a lot of times my subjects and my guests will be people who demarginalize. I have individuals, um, therapists who talk about um, demarginalizing men and, and, and getting in touch with their emotion. And I look at it from a psychological, sociological standpoint, when the fact that even though my background is um, journalism, storytelling, document documentaries, film, I'm also into um, I'm also into pedagogy, the art and the skill of teaching, praxis, um, how businesses um, can run more effectively and more inclusive uh, when it comes to um, you know leadership development, when it comes to your return on investment. Uh, when it's human-centered and is pragmatic and it's tangible and it's also monetary. Um, so it's a number of different things, a number of different areas and disciplines that I'm coming from and that I feel comfortable in, in discussing. Um, but, um, you know, it's wonderful sometimes, you know, you got to have other people in on the conversation, right? Um, so I think that's really important. So I have an individual who's going to talk about emotional well-being. He's a therapist, but also he's a comedian and he does hypnosis and things along those lines that he says is really very, very helpful. He has a very personal story where this came from and why he wants to help other individuals. Um, getting through trauma, right? There's a lot of trauma. Um, I have individuals that have gone through transformation, physical transformation, emotional, spiritual transformation, um, that are doing great today and uh, and how that's being done um, in their life, and maybe you can get something out of that. Um, we have cultural aspects from the Gullah Geechee um, and really wonderful stories um, that are personal, but also historical. Um, and um, it goes much deeper on different levels. So really excited about that. Um, 
we have a survivor of a sex trafficking. Um, and she not only tells a story, but she has produced her story in film. Um, that's really, really amazing. I have a wonderful friend and cohort and colleague who has early dementia at a very young age. And I met her years ago. And as she's losing a memory, she remembers that she does want to share certain information with the world, with you. And so I'm going to have her on my show to talk about it. That's going to be really, really wonderful. And then I have other shows that... You know, it's not always about professionals and experts and people with titles and degrees and that sort of thing. All of those are wonderful and important. They really are in a civilized society. But I also look at individuals um, as extremely important and integral in any civil society who just have degrees of experience, degrees, you know, no one can tell your story better than you. And so... I believe that every single individual has value and every single individual has something special to offer to the world. And we're just here to, what we're supposed to do is protect one another, take care of one another so that stories can be shared. And from those stories, inventions and solutions and remedies and cures (laughs) can be shared as well. So I'm really, um, that's really, really important um, is that we, um, for this show, I really want to give you information that will help make your life a little better. And that is my hope. So, of course, we're going to talk about um, certain aspects that are being touched on now, such as women's rights. I'm a humanist, so I'm a humanitarian, but a humanist. I believe human beings have a, have a right, um, have certain rights, um, but also I believe specifically there are individuals and, and aggregates that need a little bit more attention. We know that from whether you want to look at it and empirical research or whether you want to look at your, your lived experience or, you know, data or whatever, it's, there's no question. There's no argument. Um, if there are any arguments, it's because people want to argue. <laughs> it's not necessarily valid. But um, but then I also have um, this wonderful series. I, I, I already have some individuals that we're going to um, talk about. Uh, talk with. Um, And some of the titles are, you know, stories from my mother, stories from my father. What I found is individuals have made it through, have made it this far because of what they have been taught by their mother and father. And when I say mother or father, it does not necessarily mean the biological mother or father. It could be a, a prominent person in your family that really had a big influence on you. But we have some from mothers and fathers. We have some from siblings. We have some, you know, one of my, one of the stories I am going to tell you about a stranger that I met. And because I'll be telling you some stories as well. Um, a stranger that I met when I was fishing that made me feel so beautiful as a person inside. So beautiful that it touched my soul and my spirit so much that it opened my eyes to a being in a relationship that I should not have been in. And because of that love that that individual showed me just by talking, having a conversation, it gave me um, the vision, the healing that I needed where I, I got in my car after giving him my fish that I caught. And so it was a, a very interesting story. I was like, I'm out of this relationship. I'm done. (laughs) I'm like, oh, no, I'm not getting loved the way that I should be loved. I'm out, darling. Um, And it was a great decision. Nothing against the individual that I was with. Um, Sometimes you just have to be equally yoked. Yes. Um, And if a stranger can make you feel more beautiful than you than you feel in your relationship. I always tell people, you know, whether you're with in the right relationship at the right job in the right circumstance, if you think about how do you feel about yourself, how does it make you feel? If it makes you feel wonderful, beautiful, empowered, encouraged, happy, whatever the case may be, then maybe you're in the right place. Maybe. Um, it depends on how you define happy, things along those lines. Anyways, we have a lot of great things to talk about, and I want you to be a part of it. <laughs> this show is everything with other people being involved. And so um, whether you're just listening or a guest or anything along those lines, I really look forward to getting to know you a little bit better and talking with you. 
And as you're listening to this show, Theoretical Tea and Company, I hope you will grab a cup of tea and have a conversation with me in the very future, in the very near future. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm Dr. Janice Marie Collins, and this is just my welcoming to you, my introduction to you of Theoretical Tea and Company. I look forward to the future and to the stories that are yet to come. You take great care now. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.